What's up guys, I'm Ben and welcome to Upstreet Online. Now, we work hard to make sure that you guys have an incredible video experience and learn lots about God, but let me tell you, nothing compares to Upstreet Online. The games, the small groups, friends make all the difference. So if you're in Georgia, we'd love to see you at Upstreet, but we got big stuff to talk about today. If you're with us last week, you probably already know what it is. Here it comes in three, two, one. Oh, look at this, 10 whole dollars. Isn't it beautiful? It's allowance day. And let me tell you, I earned this. I had to clean toilets, pick up after my dog, take out the trash, literally the worst jobs possible. But I did it and this $10 is all mine. And I'm spinning it on the Merlin Trick Yo-Yo. It's a pro yo-yo with ultra long spin. It's gonna be sick. And today, online only, it's $9.99. How perfect is that? So I texted my mom and... Wait, what? She said I should give some of the money to God first. What does that even mean? Oh, Ben, I've been there. When you've got your eye on that thing that you really want. Okay, so when I was a kid, I really wanted a Tamagotchi. What's a Tamagotchi? I know, right? It's a little digital pet. It's about the size of an egg, and it has a keychain on it and everything. You can hook it to your book bag or your keys or anywhere you want. But the thing is, you actually have to take care of it. You have to feed it, and you have to change it. And if you don't check it for a long time, the screen just fills with poop, and you have to clean it all up. And if you don't check it for a really, really long time, your digital pet actually dies. I know, weird, right? But what Ben's mom said about giving some money back to God that's a thing. It's actually the first step of God's three-part plan for what to do with our money. See, give. Last week, we learned this verse. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Hmm. God says that how we spend our money shows what's important to our heart. For Ben, it's this yo-yo, right? He loves this yo-yo, which is why he wants to buy it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just shows that our hearts and our money are connected. But what if I said to Ben, Ben, do you love this yo-yo more than you love God? He'd probably laugh at me, right? He'd be like, no, I love God the most. Well, it's one thing to say it, but we have to show it with how we spend our money. In the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, the wise King Solomon wrote, Honor God with everything you own. Give him the first and the best. Wow, that's big. I wanna circle two of those words. We should give God our what? First and the best. God says when you give the first and the best of what you have to him, it honors him. It shows God how important he is to us. So if we really wanna show God that we love him more than anything, we need to give him our first and our best. So if we've got 10 apples and we're gonna eat some and we're gonna give some to our family and maybe even sell some to our neighbors, God says before we do any of that, give him the first and the best. Now again, is God hungry for apples? Does he have like no snacks in heaven? No, God doesn't need anything, he's God. He's all powerful and everything in the world is his. He doesn't need our apple, but he wants us to trust him to take care of us. He wants us to show him that we love him the most. And we do that when we give to God first. So if you're Ben and you're given $10 of allowance, what should Ben do first? Give to God, right? Yes. So Ben could give his first dollar or first two of that 10. Now. Where can we give to God? One place is at church, where we all come together and learn how to love God and love others just like Jesus did. Because we give to the church, we can have places like Upstreet, where our friends can come and have fun and learn how much God loves them. Now, you might be thinking, I'm just a kid. I don't have much money. How could my couple of first best dollars make any difference? 
but that's why the church is so amazing. You gave a couple dollars and I give a couple dollars and we all do that. And then we trust God and God uses all our money together to do great, amazing things. Remember too, it's not about how much you give. It's about your heart. It's about showing God that you love him and you trust him. That's why we give to God first. Let's pray and ask God to help us. God, thank you for everything we have and help us to trust you and give you our first and our best, knowing that you'll always take care of us. We love you, God. Amen. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 21. Well, the idea that I would love a yo-yo more than God is totally ridiculous. But I'm not going to lie. It's hard to wait to get it. I guess I've just never really thought about giving money like back to God. But... I do trust him. So what I have to wait another week for an allowance? I can do it. God, I'm giving you my first and my best. And also please let the yo-yo be on sale next week. Amen. I'm taking this to church. See you guys next time. I believe